your own food in your own backyard. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. This video is about reproducing and growing roses from cuttings. Because I love knockout rose shrubs, it got very expensive to buy these plants and there was no guarantee they would survive. Last summer, I purchased two knockout rose shrubs and their prices was between $35 and $40. This particular nursery did not have a, uh, a return policy if the shrubs passed, excuse me, died. Unfortunately, one shrub did die and the other one barely made it. And I knew there had to be a frugal way in order to reproduce these beautiful knockout rose shrubs without breaking the bank. These roses, the blooms are very prolific. They bloom continuously all season. And once they get established, they are really a showcase as you can see. Therefore, I learned a method cutting a stem at the beginning of fall, right before the first frost to propagate and grow from a cutting. Planting stem cuttings is one of the most popular ways to propagate roses. However, you do want to select the right time, which can be in early spring or late fall, but it does have to be before the frost, excuse me, the first frost. I selected a stem from the top of the plant that was four to, four to six inches long and had at least two or three leaves attached. The reason why it's important to um, leave the leaves attached is because it produces sugars from photosynthesis and hormones that promote rooting. Be sure and sterilize your pruners before cutting. Although I removed some leaves, however, however, over time, all of the leaves dropped off where I had a bare stem, but that's okay. That is supposed to happen. You are going to get some dye back. So as you can see that little stick sticking up from the pot, that's the dye back. But if you use organic potting soil, make sure you clean and prepare your pop, pot. And I did dip the cutting in honey, but you can use rooting hormone. Rooting hormone is not a necessary step in the cutting and propagating process, but it will increase the chances that your cutting will grow successfully. I placed the rose cutting in a moistened potting soil mixes. Roses need between six and eight hours of sunlight each day. When choosing a location for your rose, pick a window that receives lots of direct sunlight. Unfortunately, I do not have a window with direct light, so under my grow light is creating an environment that is sustaining my rose. It is especially important early in the rooting period of the cuttings that they not be allowed to dry out. The rose cutting took about two months before the rose buds started to appear. It is now the month of December and you can see that my rose cutting is getting some height. I have leaves at the top. You can see where the buds in the center are starting to bloom out and of course I have leaf at the bottom. It is March 2020 and I have a new knockout rose shrub. I am so excited. I am so elated. I saved myself between $35 and $40. In January of this year, I had to uh, up pot the plant into a larger container, as you can see. I did feed it a little bit and I continue watering it. I continue letting it grow under the grow light. I've been hardening it off for the last two weeks because as soon as the temperatures maintain 60 degrees in Colorado and the below temperatures stay above 40 degrees, I would be able to plant it in my bed. So again, this is the knockout rose cutting that started from my knockout roses in my front yard to where it got reduced just to a little stick, if you will, and blossom into a beautiful knockout rose shrub. Something like this easily will cost you about 15 or $20 in the nursery. So I'm really excited to share this with you. We're living in a time 
where being frugal is going to be really critical. Us gardeners love to have beautiful flowers and plants and grow our own foods. And we got to look for ways where we can cut our costs. So I wanted to share this with you that if you are a rose lover like I am, forget about spending big bucks at the big box stores or the nurseries. Start your own collection of growing your roses from an existing rose flower or a rose shrub. I did this through the winter months and I'm gonna also do this through the spring and summer months. I am going to get a, probably another four or five knockout rose shrubs and I don't expect to buy any more from this point on. Thank you for watching. If you have experiment with this, if you've had successes, share your comments with me. I like to hear about them. Thank you for watching.